Hey guys, Vikas over here and this is Weird Genius. Guys, before proceeding with today's tutorial, I would like to thank you all for subscribing my channel as we have crossed 200 subscribers. A big thank you to you guys for showing your support. And if you have not subscribed yet, you can subscribe it which will be much more appreciated. So once again, thank you and let's get to the content. Guys, I am trying to make a pedometer using BBC Microbit and for that it's required to transfer data from the BBC Microbit to uh, other devices or the, my simply our smartphone by using Bluetooth. But issue was that uh, with uh, Code Kingdom by using JavaScript or using MicroPython, I was not able to send raw data from the BBC Microbit to the smartphone or any device. Uh, but uh, if you know something around this, you can definitely comment down below. But I was actually not able to send data. Then I tried uh, like embed for C, C++, but the on online compiler on the embed side. Uh, then again, I was uh, like having no luck with that. Then I just came across the offline embed compiler for BBC Microbit or any embed compatible device. So and that actually luckily worked out. Now it is like I am able to send raw data from my BBC Microbit to the smartphone. So this video is around setting up the offline compiler to compile C, C++ code for the BBC Microbit. So being said that, let's get started guys. So guys to get started with this, move on to this website over here that is the yotadocs.embed.com uh, for which actually I have given the link down below in the description. And over here under installation just choose your operating system that you are working on. So for me it is like windows but if you are using linux or mac you can go ahead with those operating system. So let's click on windows. and under this, you will have two options like installing by using the Windows installer or you can just compile your own code and that is the manual installation procedure. So just click on this download Windows installer and this is about like 160 MB so it may take some time depending upon your internet speed. Now after your download finish just go to the download folder and over here just click on the yota install.exe file now click on next I agree then choose the folder where you want to install so let's say I want to install into the D drive click on next and over here on the components list, make sure to select the embed serial driver which is required to connect your BBC Microbit to the desktop and transfer the codes or the hex file onto the Microbit. And you can just select the git scm if you are not installed git onto your system. So which will be required to like clone the Microbit samples from the github repositories to our system. So what it does is, is uh, like it is downloads tools from the online repositories and install onto your system. So depending upon your internet speed, this may take some time. <coughs> so wait till it finishes.
now it is asking to plug in your bbc micro bit onto your computer to uh, like continue installation of the serial driver for the bbc micro bit so let's plug our bbc micro bit onto the pc now after connecting the micro bit to the pc click on ok now it says the installation is finished and over here you can see something like micro bit that opens up like a flash drive so just ignore it now the software has finished its installation and now you can click on finish and open up let's open up the micro bit so we'll see something like details.txt and the microbit.htm file inside the microbit. So let's open up the details.txt. It provides you all the information of the PVC microbit. So let's do not modify it. Close it. Then close. Now, after Yota has finished installation, we need to install as record, which is one dependency of Yota. So to install it, go to the source forge page of the S record. So just right click over here. I have given the direct link to the web page in the description. Click on download. So over here, download the S record depending upon your OS once again. And I'll go ahead with Windows 1. Okay, there is error saying it is not found. Okay, no issue. Just click this one. <coughs> so it is uh, again downloading. Now, after the S record has finished downloading, move into the download folder and unzip the srecord.zip file and from the extracted files just select these three files so copy these files over here and go to your yota installation folder go to gcc go into bin folder and paste those files over here now after copying the srecord files uh, next is uh, just copy this github link over here and go to your yota installation folder like in my case it is on c drive yota folder and run this file over here run yota.bat now let's navigate into the yota folder that is Uh, let's create another workspace over here. Uh, let's say mkdir workspace two. and navigate into that particular folder and copy your uh, GitHub clone code and hit enter. So this will just clone the micro bit samples uh, like applications from the github repository to the local folder over here uh, you can see over here it has created microbit samples folder yep that is it has finished with downloading Now, next is uh, you need to uh, like provide your uh, target options. That is, we are compiling for micro bits. So, copy this code over here and just run it. So, let's check inside the micro bit samples folder. Inside source. Okay, these are the example files. Uh, for different 
examples okay just remove it from here now this file is the file that will get compiled when uh, whenever we run from our terminal or the command prompt so let's modify this particular file over here let's check what's inside it yeah so this is a simple hello world application uh, that will uh, print out hello world onto the led matrix so if you want to change you can change over here otherwise leave it as it is now on command prompt i just need to type yt clean oh sorry you just uh, need to navigate into microbit samples folder then over here type clean yep now run yt build so this will create the hex files uh, so let's check over here uh, inside microbit folder you don't fi find any build folder or something but after you run this build it will generate the build files as well as the hex files for our microbit again uh, this is actually downloading all the requirements for uh, like building you need to log in to your embed account for this so press enter this will take you to the embed website Login using ARM embed. So just provide your embed uh, username and password over here. So if you don't have account, you can go ahead and create one. Now let's check on terminal. Yep, it has uh, done signing in. Uh, so each time you change your uh, like source code file or the CPU file, you need to run both clean and build. Now let's check inside the microbit samples folder. Navigate into build. Uh, BBC microbit classic BBC. Inside source, we'll find a file something like microbit samples combined. So this is the required hex file. Simply copy it and open up your microbit and paste the file over here. So that's all of this guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching. See you next time with my new content. And if you like this video, hit the like button, share. And if you have not subscribed already, you can subscribe my channel. Thank you.